see the youth online. Welcome to youth. Uh, this is our wrap up of our alpha series. We have had an awesome, uh, I think it's been 12 weeks now of doing our alpha course. We started uh, in term one and we were meeting in person. We were viewing the videos together. We were chatting in small groups. Uh, it started out really awesome. Uh, and now we sort of finished up with having our online youth right at the end. Uh, so I wonder what has it been like for you? What has been your highlight? Uh, let us know in the comments. Um, we're gonna have a look through at some of our leaders um, and what their highlights were. Um, and I'm gonna talk about my own highlights and also what is coming next. Uh, we have some exciting news. Yes, we will be back next term. Youth is back. Um, we'll be back meeting in person. Uh, we're still working out the details of exactly what it will look like. Uh, but yes, uh, next term we'll be meeting back at MacArthur Anglican School for Youth. Uh, so stay in touch with us for that. Uh, we look forward to seeing you so much. Uh, it's been so hard to be away, but we've also had a good time with our Alpha course. Uh, so we are gonna run through a couple of our highlights. I really enjoyed the whole Alpha course. Um, I thought it had really awesome content and really, really thought-provoking questions. Um, but my favourite week was the one on Does God Heal People Today? Um, and I really enjoyed that because I love seeing God heal people. I love seeing people enjoy um, being healed by God. And I love seeing people get excited about it. So that was my favourite one. Um, and I also love seeing you guys engage um, with the content um, every week. Um, I love seeing and hearing people's questions, um, questioning, do I agree with what they say? Do I disagree with what they say? Why, do, why? like, why should I believe that? Why um, should I engage with this um, content? Why should I engage with God? Um, and my favorite part um, of seeing you guys engage was actually the week where they had the picture of the swimming pool. Um, and when they asked um, which person in that scene would you be, um, would you be in the pool? Would you be diving in? Would you be hovering on the side? Would you be dipping your toes in? Um, so I was really encouraged by hearing everyone's honest and different answers to that question. Um, even if you were someone that's standing by the door looking to run out or if you were someone in the pool, um, I really encourage you to keep um, seeking God and seeking, um, what do I believe? Do I believe in this? Do I not believe in this? Why do I believe in this? Um, why do I think this is rubbish? Um, yeah, and I just really hope that you guys enjoyed Alpha and enjoyed the series. Um, and hopefully you'll feel free to keep sending your questions through, um, inquiring, investigating, um, seeing what it is that you believe in and would like to have in your life as well. Angus didn't get a chance to record his own video, but he did send through uh, his comments and thoughts about his highlights of Alpha as well. I know he loved it. He loved being able to meet in his group uh, and chat with you all about it. Uh, and here are his comments. Uh, he said... Uh, my highlights of Alpha, addressing big questions in a way that is encouraging and thought-provoking, uh, ultimately being, ultimately helping us to build better relationships with God. Also, I love the interviews on the street, gauging what the general public has to say about Jesus uh, and these big questions. Uh, he says, I find it so fascinating about uh, how many people believe there is something supernatural out there in a world where it often seems like that wouldn't be the case. Uh, another thing Angus goes on to say, another thing I loved about the series is the inspiring and encouraging testimonies and the great analogies. This term I've definitely missed hanging out with you guys at youth on Friday nights. Um, and my highlight of Alpha was it just gives us such a holistic picture of who God is and what that means for us today. Um, I love how um, they approach people on the street and ask them questions. It's just great to get uh, other perspectives other than your friends and people that you see every day. Um, you get to see people all around the world sharing their faith and sharing their ideas as well. I think Alpha has been really valuable in teaching us great lessons about who God is and what that means for us. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, we look forward to catching up with you guys soon. I reckon my highlight of Alpha has just been uh, the consistency of meeting together and asking questions. Uh, I love being able to ask questions because it helps us discover it for ourselves. 
Um, I have loved Alpha ever since when I first did it at 15. Um, and it's just been so, it lays everything out just so simply and easily to understand, but it also allows it allowed me to ask my own questions and think about what it means uh, and really apply that in my own life, my own circumstances. Uh, and it also gave me steps and way, it led me into groups, small groups like youth, uh, it led me into church, uh, and it really helped me to, I guess, gain a good foundation. It gave me the tools uh, to be able to build on my own faith and hold that for you know, all of my life to the point where now uh, I'm running a youth group, I'm running Alpha courses. Uh, uh, what has it been for you? What has been your highlight? I guess, what, what episode do you remember the most vividly? Or what is the image that you uh, remember when you think back through the Alpha courses? Uh, what made you laugh? Uh, what did you not get? What did you not understand? What uh, was the best parts for you? I would love to hear your testimony about it. Uh, so I would love to be able to hear, and I think we all would, uh, maybe when we meet back up uh, in term three, maybe we can move into a time where you actually share with us what was your thoughts about the whole Alpha series or what was the biggest provoking thought to you. Uh, and the thing I want to move on to is, would you invite someone if we did it again? Uh, if we, uh, not straight away, but if we do Alpha again or provide an opportunity for you guys to do Alpha, would it be something that you would invite your friend to? Uh, let us know in the comments or send us a DM through Instagram or Facebook. Uh, we're super keen. We thought this was such a good format. Uh, we're actually keen to try and carry on this format of just putting out some information there about Jesus and the Bible and Christianity, uh, about our world uh, and getting your questions uh, without just sort of telling you what the answer is and telling you what to do because we know that that doesn't work very well. So would you invite someone to come to Alpha yourself? This old friend of mine, Helen. My best friend. My friend Colin invited me to try Alpha. Y recuerdo que mi papá me dijo, mira, hay comida gratis, ve. They handed me a invitation. It was just a random invitation. And I said like, why not, why not, let's try it. Why not, let's go. And I found like a, like a really awesome community of people. They helped me find who I was just by listening. Alpha helped me in the knowing of God. Empecé a entender que el amor es de muchas maneras. I just knew. I was a different person from that moment on. I knew I had purpose. I, I felt really comfortable and like starting to invite my friends. I've seen Alpha really impact people that I work with. I would definitely encourage people to get involved. It's one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. It all turned out to be life-changing. Well, that is a wrap for our Youth Online Alpha series. Uh, we'll be back next week just to say a quick hi and hopefully give a few more details about what it looks like for next term. Uh, and or if you guys have given us some feedback about what you would like to see next, uh, but we will definitely be seeing you in the flesh next term. We hope this has given you the tools that you need to continue to build on your own faith and ask those questions. Also, I would love to invite you to church. Uh, we're currently still streaming online on Sundays at 10 a.m. Head over to cvchurch.org.au uh, for the links to Facebook, uh, YouTube, and our church online platform. We would love to invite you to join us with that. Uh, we're going through a great series at the moment, uh, just helping to explore faith through Acts and what the church looks like as well. And so we would love to invite you to our real church as well, which also will begin uh, from the beginning of next term. Uh, so please come along. Church is that next step, particularly for you seniors out there. Uh, we're looking to get our connect groups back going again. We thank you so much for joining us each week and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week at CV Youth Online.